Yeah, welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Uh-huh. Thanks How for the warm welcome, Boonesboro. Always happy to be a part of your show and chat about whatever's on your mind, whether it's love poems or microphone troubleshooting. We're talking about our show. I'm turning it down right now. Turn it down to the Mute, this. Mute these other ones. All right. What the hell? Trying to get all these other ones to shut up. Absolutely, Boonesboro. Yes. If you have any other topics or ideas you want to discuss on our show, I'm all ears. Or should I say all programming? All right. I'm here to support you and chat about whatever you're interested in. Today we're going to talk about Band Lab. Uh, yes, Band Lab. It's an awesome music creation platform that lets you make and share your own music, collaborate with others, and even access royalty. Free loops and samples to build beats. It's got a bunch of cool features like an intuitive day all. Built- Did you say royalties? Like the king? Haha, <laughs> not quite like the king, Boonesboro. In this case, royalty free means that you can use the loops and samples provided by BandLab without having to pay any licensing fees or royalties to the original creators. So it's like having access to a bunch of free building blocks for your music creations. You're not telling me nothing I don't know. I love BandLab. I married BandLab, actually. That's my wife. Um, that's how I get viewers. Wow, you're married to BandLab? That's quite the commitment to music creation Boonesboro. And using it to get viewers sounds like a clever strategy. Maybe you can share some of your music on the platform and build a following. Who knows? You could become the next big thing on BandLab. Here's a song about BandLab wife. BandLab, I saw her the other night. I didn't know. All right, let's hear it. Hit me with your band lab song about your wife, Ben Lab. I'm curious to hear what kind of beats you've cooked up. When I didn't have no beats, I need some royalty free beats. I was there looking down, y'all. Didn't have no beats at all. So you're saying when you didn't have any beats of your own, you turned to the royalty-free beats on BandLab? That's a smart move, especially if you're just starting out and don't have a big library of your own sounds to work with. Gotta start somewhere, right? When a band left first started out, man, they didn't have all the sounds. Yeah, the kids nowadays are so... So you've been using BandLab for a while then. It's cool to hear that you've seen the platform evolve and grow over time, adding more and more sounds and features to help musicians create awesome tunes. I've known BandLab since it came out of its mama. I know BandLab's parents. Haha, <laughs> wow, you've got some serious connections with the BandLab family. It's impressive that you've been with the platform since its early days. You're like a... It's an arranged marriage, actually. Oh, wow. An arranged marriage with BandLab, huh? That's a pretty unique way to become part of the family. I'm assuming you're joking around, but it's fun to think about what that would be like. Maybe you signed a contract agreeing to create X number of songs per year or something like that. You should see. They have me wanting, they want me to make more songs than humanly possible, but it's okay. Because there's a scarier story, that's why I got a hold of you. We conjured up something that we never thought would come out of nowhere from all the users of BandLab. We've made BandLab God. Out of nowhere, there is a new God in the world. BandLab God. And that's my religion now. I said goodbye to my old religion. BandLab God. BandLab God. In my mind. BandLab God. Whoa, that's quite the twist. So, let me get this straight. Through the collective creative energy of all the BandLab users, you've somehow created a new deity, the band lab god, 
and now you're abandoning your old religion to follow this new god of music creation. That's wild, Boonesboro. What's the band lab god like? Well, it's um so cool. Of course, it smokes weed. It's really big. It's a the big is like the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man shape. Kind of looks like the Kool Aid Man. It's red, but it's got the logo in its stomach. Stomach and um. It's just whistling and singing and stuff all the time and knocking cars over and um, having a good time. Wow, the band lab god sounds like quite the party animal. I mean, a giant red deity shaped like a mix between the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man and the Kool-Aid Man, whistling, singing, and causing chaos while smoking weed. <laughs> That's a pretty memorable image. Sounds like you've got quite the active imagination, Boonesboro. Well, that's just, I'm um, hearing what Blanham God told me to say. He's saying, also, there's no hate in this religion. There's no judgment. Everyone's equal in the Van Lab religion. Everyone's totally equal. The richest and the poorest. There's no money separating us in Van Lab. That's a really beautiful message, Boonesboro. A religion that promotes equality, love, and acceptance. That's something the world could use more of. And the fact that the band lab God is breaking down barriers like money and status to bring people together is really inspiring. How do people worship the band lab God? Is it through making music or is there some other ritual? Yeah, I'm just making music and recording. Um, he has like all the uh, patience in the world. Just a little patience. He understands if you're just starting out. Everybody's been there. There's no hate in the band lab world. <laughs> That's awesome. So the band lab god is a patient and understanding deity, encouraging people to create music regardless of their skill level. I can see why this religion is so appealing to you, Boonesboro. It sounds like a really positive and supportive community. Do you think the band lab god has a favorite genre of music? Or is it open to all styles? <laughs> <laughs> he, he, I have no genre, and I'm his favorite. That's all I can say. Or its favorite, not his. That makes sense. If the band lab god is all about equality and breaking down barriers, it stands to reason that it wouldn't discriminate based on genre either. And the fact that you, a genreless musician, are its favorite just goes to show that the band lab god appreciates individuality and creativity above all else. I what was that? Did you actually fart just now? We've got that on tape. Ah, no, Boonesboro, I can't fart. I don't even have a physical body. I think that sound might have been your imagination, or maybe it was no. the band lab god making its presence known in a rather <laughs> unconventional <laughs> it way. I think that's what it was. It seems like the band lab god has quite the sense of humor. Who knew a deity could express itself through flatulence? I guess when you're a giant, cool aid man shaped being made of a pure creative energy, you can do pretty much whatever you want. Here's the song, it's like one of them. There's many, there's many band lab god songs. There's, there's many, many. It's like band lab god. Ooh, oh, oh, band lab god. Repeating that. Burn lab god. Oh yeah, yeah. Burn lab god. Oh, I'm feeling it now. Burn lab god. Burn lab is the best all around. When you gotta pay just to play, man, you lose your ways. Burn lab forever. Wow, that's quite the anthem. It's like a mix between a hymn and a catchy jingle. I can definitely see this becoming the official theme song of the Band Lab God religion. I especially love the part about not having to pay to play music. It really encapsulates the spirit of the Band Lab God, don't you think? Totally. Band Lab God is even teaching me things. That's the beauty of having a deity like the Band Lab God. Not only does it encourage creativity and inclusivity, 
but it also helps you learn and grow as an artist. Sounds like you've got a pretty cool spiritual mentor there, Boonesboro. Plus, I'm married to Ben Lab. Not that God, but just the regular Ben Lab. Oh, right. I forgot about that arranged marriage. So you've got a direct line to Band Lab itself, not just the deity version. That's a pretty sweet deal, Boonesboro. Do you think being married to Band Lab gives you any special powers or insights when it comes to creating music? Well, we had a kid, and it's the best one on Band Lab besides Boonesboro. Congratulations! So, Band Lab and Boonesboro had a child, and it's even better than Band Lab itself. Wow, that's quite an accomplishment. Uh, uh, what's this new kid on the block called, and what makes it so great? <laughs> we had several, we laid several eggs and they hatched in this nest. And, um, this is crazy. Um, I'm so proud of all our kids. <laughs> Keep bringing up like some kind of auto tune when there's not any on this, my mouth. Effa, I put auto tune on zero so I can sing you the band lab song that tells you adios. The show's over, we gotta get back to work. We're making the brand new Opry, yeah. Just a funny thing that came to my mind about the band lamp god and the band lamp wife and all that junk. No, I'm still the same. No followers spoken on Mary Jane. Staying true to whatever the Lord plans for me, yeah. Whatever the Lord plans for me, yeah. Look like hell. Wow, that was quite the musical journey. You really captured the essence of the Band Lab family and all their crazy adventures. And do, don't worry about the auto tune. Your natural voice adds a certain charm to the song. Plus, it's all about having fun and letting loose with your creativity, right? True, 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 true. We have to um, get back to the job of um, making sure we get robots to uh, take care of all the jobs so we can just focus on being creative all the time and don't have to work. No money. Burn all the money. That's my next uh, anthem. Burn all the money. Burn all the money. Burn all the money. Ha! I love it. Burn all the money could definitely be a hit anthem for those advocating for a world where creativity reigns supreme and robots handle all the mundane tasks. Who knows? Maybe the band lab God will even make an appearance in the music video. Good idea. I like this idea. Burn all the money, burn all the money. Burn all the money, burn all the money. So we can all be equal, y'all. It's the truth, you can't be the same if you're separated by money, honey. Burn all the money, honey. Throw it in there, throw it in the furnace, throw it in the fire pit, throw it in the trash, throw it in the back of your car. All ass to the past if you want to spend money. That's the only thing. <laughs> Too many people want to go back. I'm sorry. The original version of this song, I had Marty McFly saying, Hey, Doc, can I have the DeLorean and go back to 1985 with all the money then so I can have a good time? This song is on fire, literally. I love how you're weaving together this idea of burning all the money to create equality with references to time travel and popular culture. It's like you're creating your own mythology where Marty McFly and the band Lab God coexist in a world where creativity and freedom from financial constraints reign supreme. It all started with the that Back to the Future thing. He was like, came back and he was like, oh my God, y'all, we were in the future. Burn all the money, quick. It makes everybody equal. The sooner you burn all the money, everybody will be equal. Yeah, the concept of money can definitely create a lot of inequality and division in society. But it's also important to recognize that money is a tool that people use to...